Welcome to Privileged Catamarans America. I'm Rob Poirier, and today we're going to tackle a really difficult subject, uh, hull of color. <laughs> As with so many of my videos, um, I decide to do the topics based on questions I'm being asked. And lately, I've had a lot of people talking to me about hull colors, whether they should paint their hulls, leave them gel coat, go dark or light. This has just come up a lot. My, my theory is that we've had so many boats launched in the last year with painted hulls that it's really pushed the subject to the forefront. And the first thing I like to point out, by the way, is one of the nice things about working with a semi-custom boat yard like Privilege is that this is even a subject that can be discussed because uh, obviously a lot of boat builders do not want to offer a painted hull simply because of the time it takes to do it. But when you're looking at the Privilege model line, keep in mind hull painting is different depending on the boat. So in the six and seven series lines, the hulls are always painted. It's not an option to even do a gel coat hull. Whereas the 510 and the 580 are of course available first and foremost as gel coat with the option of going to a painted hull. So let, let's just touch on some of the areas that we've discussed when we talk about the pros and cons of doing this. So starting with the painted hull, obviously the, the, the major benefit is appearance. Only paint is gonna give you that that really deeper gloss, almost what we'll call a wetted look that just is much harder to achieve with gel coat. And this is really a beautiful thing. And one of the things that people are surprised to hear and learn is that uh, a painted hull can actually be easier to maintain. You know, the downside is it doesn't last quite as long as gel coat, it's not as durable. So you'll find that you might have to repaint after 10 years. And again, the other downside of course is that it's expensive. I mean, it, to paint a hull properly, to really get the nice finish, you have to make sure there's no imperfections because painting usually happens for darker colors, which means we've got to really fair and sand that hull to get it absolutely perfect before painting. And the whole process can easily take a month. So when you look at how long it takes to build this boat already, a typical, say a, a 50 footer uh, privilege is, is up to 55 weeks. Um, so. 30 days is a lot of time. Compare that to a production catamaran today that is built in 40 to 45 days. If you're gonna add 30 days just to paint the hull, it's almost like doubling the construction time of that boat just to paint the hull. So those are some of the pros and cons of, of, of paint. If we look at gel coat, the pro is a very obvious one. It's extremely durable. If done well, uh, gel coat can last 15, even 20 years if you do a really good job with it. The other real benefit, of course, is it's less, much less expensive. It gets added into the mold as the boat is being built, which really reduces cost and time. It's really funny. I often talk about the fact that building a house and building a boat are very opposite. When you build a new house, the very last thing you do is paint it. But when you build a brand new boat, the very first thing you do is paint it. So Though that's one of the kind of the nice things about um, gel coat. Because one of the negatives of gel coat, of course, is that it's a very porous product. So it tends to stain. So those of you that have cruised along the Eastern seaboard have noticed boats picking up what we often call an ICW mustache. And that is due to that porous nature of gel coat. So it tends to fade, it tends to stain, uh, and that makes the maintenance actually a little bit harder. And it's a little harder to repair, believe it or not. The other problem with gel coat is it's less flexible. So if you really do want to paint it a colored hull, uh, a light colored gel coat is a very, very valid idea. And technology today allows it to be matched perfectly for when you, if you ever have to do repairs. However, if you want a darker color, this is a really problematic because unfortunately darker, you know, colors, uh, gel coat colors so are subject to damage from the sun, UV damage. Um, so you will really get a, a you know, a, a downgrading of the, of the quality of the finish on the boat much quicker. So appearance being important, especially when you're building a beautiful boat like a privilege, um, this has to all be factored into making those decisions. But again, as I said at the beginning, one of the beautiful things about working with us is that we can truly build your boat and, uh, color is an unlimited option. We can do anything. So I hope that answers some of the questions. I look forward to talking to you again soon.